Welcome to our reflection for Ash Wednesday as we make our journey through Lent. The celebration of Ash Wednesday creates a rather unique experience for us. Remember you are dust, and unto dust you shall return. This proclamation of Ash Wednesday is a reminder of our fragility. Dust is what we return to at the end of our lives. But long before we breathe our last, life reminds us of the corruptibility of everything. So much of what we put our confidence in ages, breaks, comes apart at the seams, wears out. Mortality touches even our most noble human treasures. Loved ones die, sickness limits us, age saps our energies, and our noble efforts to do good often meet with failure. What exactly is happening as we focus on these ashes? We realize that these ashes are the product of burning something away. They are what is left over after fire passes over or through something. They are the waste after the heat and light are gone. So why do we put these ashes on our foreheads? Where did this strange tradition come from and what does it mean? First of all, these ashes are a reminder of who we are. Our first re reading reminds us that we came from the dust and shall return to the dust. The first human was formed out of the dust of the earth by God, and then God breathed life into that dust. This is a powerful image, one that is meant to remind us that without the breath or spirit of God moving in us, we are just like these ashes, lifeless, worthless. The words of this ritual remind us of this Remember you are dust, and unto dust you shall return. Thus the ashes are a reminder of our origin and destiny, created by God to be with God forever. Walter Brueggemann, the famous scripture scholar, reflects on this dust statement and says that the Ash Wednesday liturgical formula reminds us that the human person is fundamentally material in origin, subject to all the realities of an earth creature. Since dust is, is no self-starter, the, the reality of human situation is that we depend on God's free gift of breath. We are totally dependent on God for each moment of our existence. These ashes are also a sign of repentance. Lent is a time of mourning for our sins. It is a time when we are called to repent and change our ways. In the scriptures, it is common for people who were mourning to dress in sackcloth and put ashes on their heads. There are several stories in the scriptures where the people came to God and sat before God in sackcloth and ashes to show their repentance and to seek his forgiveness. These ashes of Ash Wednesday are meant to be for us symbols of our repentance and signs that we truly seek to follow in God's path. The people in the scriptures probably put the ashes on top of their heads. However, we impose these ashes on our foreheads with the sign of the cross. This is a reminder of how we are sealed for Christ. When a baby is baptized, the minister uses oil to mark the child with the sign of the cross, praying for protection. The mark of the cross is a mark of ownership. These ashes remind us that we belong to Christ, that he died so that we might live. It is also significant that we use palm branches to make these ashes. The palms are a symbol of victory. By making the ashes from the palms of Palm Sunday, we are reminded of how all our victories are but ashes before the glory of God. We are also reminded of the events of Holy Week and of how the victory of Jesus over sin was won for us on Good Friday. Thus, these ashes are a symbol of our voluntary decision and willingness to walk with and suffer with and join ourselves with Christ this season. These may be just a few ashes, but they mean a lot. They are a symbol of our need for God. We are nothing but dust and ashes apart from God. They are also a sign of our repentance and mourning. They are a way of showing on the outside what is happening on the inside. We are truly sorry and mournful for the evil and hurt that we have done. Yet in the midst of our repentance, we are forgiven and marked as Christ's own. 
the very burning way of our sin by the fire of God's love makes us God's children, stamped and certified through the cross. So as we come today to have the sign of the cross placed on our foreheads, we are invited to rend our hearts and repent of our self-reliance and self-seeking. May we accept the grace and forgiveness that marks us as redeemed children of God. I look forward to meeting with you again for the first Sunday of Lent.